Planets that may contain alien life have always been a fantasy, a shot in the dark, the stuff of science fiction, and the making of a Spielberg movie. But now, they may be the new normal for us. If there were a planet out there that can host life, what do you think it could look like? It certainly won't be like some of the other exoplanets discovered, not like HD 189773b, where it rains glass sideways, or like TRES-2b, the darkest exoplanet, where it's so dark it seems to suck the light out of everything around, or like any of surrounding planets. No, an alien Earth, or somewhere that could host life, whatever form that looked like, would be a little different. In their search for other forms of life in the vast, immeasurable universe, scientists have turned their telescopes to a new direction and discovered something they can't take back. Before we can dive into this terrifying new discovery scientists found, a little explanation is in order. Have you ever wondered who is our closest neighbor? The closest star system to life as we know is called the Alpha Centauri system. From our measly, tiny place on Earth, it looks like a single bright star. Just because it's called the closest star system doesn't mean it's that nearby. We're about four light years away, with light years referring to the distance light travels in one year in a vacuum. One light year is the equivalent of about 5.88 trillion miles, or 9.46 trillion kilometers. Our stellar, beaming, flaring neighbor? It's not exactly close enough to borrow a cup of sugar from. It's a total of an eye-opening 25 trillion miles, or 40.2 trillion kilometers away. The system's two brightest stars, Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, can also be spotted with the naked eye. Originally, it was hypothesized that both Alpha Centauri A and B could host life either on their planets or their moons, since they're so much like the Sun. In contrast to that theory, the newest chilling discovery was uncovered elsewhere. See, orbiting the system is Proxima Centauri, today's star topic, literally. It's the Alpha Centauri system's third star. It's a small and dim red dwarf star, and it's far, far away from the two other main stars. Proxima Centauri holds a special place in both our hearts and in the astronomy textbooks. Technically, it's the closest star to the Sun. Its name literally stems from the Latin word for nearest. It's an alarmingly trillion miles closer than the others. So far, it's held a lot of mystery and intrigue. It's so much smaller than our Sun. That means that its habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, is dramatically closer than that of the Sun. And unlike Alpha Centauri A and B, where astronomers haven't been able to identify any planets, Proxima is an overachiever. In August 2016, researchers had a field day when they finally found proof of a planet around Proxima Centauri. Astronomers with the European Southern Observatory used radial velocity measurements, which we'll get into later, to find out. Lo and behold, what is now dubbed Proxima b. It is about the same size and mass as Earth. Every 11.2 days, it completes an orbit at a distance of 4.3 million miles, 5% the distance our planet Earth orbits the Sun. It took about four years more for the second world hanging around Proxima Centauri to resurface in front of scientists. In January 2020, a super-Earth was announced, Proxima C. As far as conditions go, this will not be the world where a familiar form of life could exist. It's far too cold for that, and as a super-Earth, it weighs roughly six times Earth's mass. It takes a whopping 5.2 years to complete one orbit around Proxima Centauri star at a distance of 130 million miles. To say it's beyond the habitable zone is an understatement. Things in the galaxy world quieted down on the Proxima front for several more years, until February 2022. The Proxima family tree was found to have an extra branch. This terrestrial planet, the aptly called Proxima d, is around the size of our Mars, and it orbits around halfway between its host star and Proxima b. Proxima d is an anomaly. For one thing, it's one of the lightest exoplanets ever found. It weighs just one quarter of the mass of Earth. 
Every five days, it completes an orbit around Proxima Centauri, and it does so at a distance of 2.5 million miles, or around 4 million kilometers. Or, in other words, it does so at a distance of less than one-tenth the distance of our Mercury from the Sun. Proxima d is thought to be tidally locked, the same way the Moon is locked to Earth, which means that a body rotates around an object, usually a planet, at the same pace as it orbits it. Our Moon is tidally locked to us, hence the Mulan lyrics about the mysterious as the dark side of the Moon. Remember what we said about Proxima Centauri being a red dwarf? It's also drastically smaller than the Sun, measuring about 12% of its mass and 14% of its diameter. It's fascinating, but what really kicks things up to a new notch is that this means Proxima d is easily located inside of the star's habitable zone. A habitable zone, also known as a Goldilocks zone, is the area around the star where it's neither too hot nor too cold, where the conditions are just right for liquid water or oceans to exist on the surface of a surrounding planet. As we know, water is the key to life. Proxima d, it's not only in the habitable zone, it's ideal. Proxima d's discovery is groundbreaking. It's concrete proof that our closest stellar neighbor is brimming with worlds, all in reach and all sitting there for future exploration. The first glimpse of Proxima d actually took place in 2020, not too long after Proxima c was discovered. At that time, the discovery team pulled up a new instrument on the ESO's VLT, which is short for Very Large Telescope. This new, revolutionary instrument it's called ESPRESSO, a witty acronym for the spectrograph for rocky exoplanets and stable spectroscopic observations. ESPRESSO's purpose is to study light from quasars, these remote and massive celestial objects thought to contain black holes, as well as, you guessed it, extrasolar planets. What ESPRESSO does is locate these planets by using the radial velocity technique. It picks up wobbles in a star's motion, caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting world. To find the wobble for the Proxima d planet, the team of researchers recorded over 100 observations over more than two years. Admittedly, the signal was weak. It took years in follow-up observations for the team to confirm the planet's existence. Now that it's confirmed, what does this mean for life as we know it? Are scientists steps away from finding alien life? Or is Proxima d just hospitable enough to someday house us? Will Elon Musk start sending spaceships up there? For now, this mildly to terrifying, exciting, habitable planet has changed how exoplanets are studied. It's also made astronomers take a new interest in Proxima Centauri as a star. How many more stars, especially ones so close by, have had three of their planets discovered within the span of six years? And for now, it's theorized that Proxima d is too hot to host human life or Earth life surface life. That doesn't apply to other forms of life that may have evolved. The habitable zone is a tricky concept. Espresso instrument scientist at ESO in Chile, Pedro Figueroa, says that the radial velocity technique is key here. It has the potential to reach populations of light planets, much like our own Earth, that can possibly host life on them. Other scientists concede that the entire alien life spiel isn't on the books yet, neither is interstellar travel outside of the sci-fi realm, but our closest stellar neighbor is a lot more reachable than we once thought. It is possible that life could have found a way to evolve on one of Proxima's planets, at least one of them. Researchers are still conflicted, however. Proxima registers as an active flare star, which means it's habitually inflicted with bursts of radiation. But since it's tidally locked, that means temperatures lean more towards the extreme, decreasing the likelihood of a stable atmosphere. With Proxima d's proximity to its star and a location inside the habitable area, the question of whether or not there could be oceans there changes things. If they existed, these oceans could act as a barrier to the radiation flares, as well as replace whatever atmospheric gases that are damaged by Proxima's flares. And if there are oceans, it's possible that there's marine life. According to Guillaume Anglada Escude, an astronomer at the Institute of Space Sciences in Barcelona, 
It's not that far out there to say that more and more planets hanging around Proxima Centauri will soon be discovered, especially with new techniques. He estimated that within a decade, we'll be able to detect these planets right away. From there on out, they'll search for life. What did you think? Do you think there really could be extraterrestrial life out there, especially on Proxima D? Let us know your theories below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Future Is Now, and click the like button. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted every time we upload a new video. I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.